Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Summertime Saga. Are you guys ready to see what is going to go down at the Rump Mansion today? All right. Well, you know, the first the first thing we got to do, we've got to go clean this damn hot tub at the Rump Mansion. It's like the one responsibility I have there, apparently. All right. Clean in the hot tub. Oh, oh yeah. I forgot. Every time I clean the hot tub, I have to be in a Speedo. Yeah, go ahead, put it on, Thomas. Embarrass yourself. Ooh, ooh what the? Gross. Okay, that's good. Oh. <laughs> What's she doing? What's she doing? Oh, she dropped her glass. Holy, holy crap, what was that? Uh, Mrs. Rump? Sorry, I, I didn't see you there. Aren't you finished yet, Hector? I'm quite ready to cool off. Oh, just putting on the finishing touches now, ma'am. Well, enough of that. Okay. It's been a stressful day, and I'm eager to relax. Isn't it morning time? Has it been a stressful day already? Stressful day, ma'am? Yes, I woke up to my obnoxious husband pawing at me like some sex-crazed baboon. He's well aware of my aversion to his body, and yet he insists on pestering me with it. I had to get up and leave the room. I couldn't take it. Okay, so it is morning for sure, and she's already stressed out. Our chef came in late, and I had to wait almost 15 minutes for my breakfast. If he wasn't in such high demand, I would have fired him on the spot. Uh-huh. And then to top it all off, I had Pilates today with that evil little witch. Huh? My personal trainer. Hannah, or whatever. Yeah, that sounds, um, uh, rough. Rough doesn't even begin to describe it, Hector. But it's the price I have to pay if I want to maintain my figure. Sure. You were lucky to be born a man. Men don't need to concern themselves with such things. Especially when they're as gifted as you appear to be. Gifted, ma'am? Don't play dumb, Hector. That thong doesn't leave much to the imagination, you know. The thong? Uh, oh, right, yeah. <laughs> I imagine a large one like that gives you all sorts of advantages, hmm. Uh, I... I don't know. I guess. You guess. Clearly you don't understand the power you wield. Why don't you come in here and join me, Hector? We can discuss all ways in which you are up. Mm. A gift might benefit you here at the Rump Estate. Uh, uh, okay. Here we go. Oh, that's a good boy. Now. There. Now that feels nice, doesn't it? Uh, yes, ma'am. Hmm. I just love the way the Jessica caress my lower back. Uh-huh. Why are you sitting so far away? You're not afraid of me, are you? N no, ma'am. I just... Uh... Is that your foot? <laughs> well, it's the only thing that will reach you sitting so far away. Why don't you come a little closer? Um, hola, senora. Ricky, thank goodness. Thank goodness. Ricky saves the day. Took you long enough. We're kind of busy here, Ricky. Oh, apologies, senora. I didn't mean to interrupt. It's just... It's just... Are you sure he should be in here with you? If your husband sees... Oh, screw that old pumpkin. It would be exactly what he deserves after the obscene display he put on this morning. Obscene display? Ugh, I'm not getting into it again. Ask Hector if you must know. Eh, it's okay. We could just forget it. So I suppose Hector here will be giving you a massage today? Oh, now that's a marvelous idea. He's quite a good masseur. I'm sure he'd be more than happy to do so. For the right price, of course. Start with the feet, amigo. Um, I should probably start with your feet, huh? 
Mmm, thorough indeed. Oh, don't hold back. I like a firm touch. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> this is this is so awkward. <laughs> oh my god. So awkward. Alright, enough foreplay. Uh what? What's going on? Uh oh. What's going on here? Come sit behind me, Hector. Huh? Oh, you must do as the lady commands, my friend. She is paying you for the pleasure, remember? Uh, okay, okay. Let's get in here. Like this? Oh, yes, that's perfect. Okay, what do you want me to... Uh-oh. Whoa! W what are you... Okay. Oh, the lady is skipping a few steps. <laughs> All right, she wanted to go upstairs to the bedroom, but uh, Thomas took off. He got out of there. Ricky helped. Ricky helped get Thomas out of uh, the situation. But um, Melonia seems she's a bit frustrated with the situation. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, ma'am. I can't help you. Uh, my Pepe only peeps for boys, eh? Oh, see, see, Thomas left, so she's trying to see if Ricky will do anything. Oh, just forget it. As you wish, Mrs. Rump. <laughs> oh, she's so frustrated. <laughs> she's like, I'm going to get Thomas. I'm going to get that guy. He's going to get him, all right. Oh, wow, but I made some money. There you go. There you go. Money, 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 money. Huh. I wonder if she'd be willing to help me yet. I think she would. I think she would. We'll have to see. Well, I'll ask her next time. I think uh, now we're just gonna we're, we're just yeah you know, let's call it an early day and then we'll go back to the mansion tomorrow. All right, going back to the mansion. Had a you know we rested up, and the first thing I'm gonna have to do once again is clean this hot tub. Do it. After after I get my uniform on, <laughs> yeah, like Thomas is. I guess he's getting used to the uniform. Like Ricky and Ricky and Mrs. Rump are the only ones around, and they both enjoy the uniform. <laughs> All right, let's get started with the hot tub. Oh, there's a lot more stuff. What happened last night? There we go. All clean. Oh, here she is. She didn't even have her little uh, her little robe thing on. All right, you. Huh? Ma'am? I'm tired of this charade, Hector. Huh? No more beating around the bush. We both know you want me. So what are you waiting for? Uh, what? Oh, what's all this screaming? Is everything all right, senora? No, everything is not all right. I haven't done it in months, and I'm tired of you two playing games with me. Oh, my goodness, senora. You must keep your voice down, your husband. I don't give two craps about my husband. I want Thomas, and I want him now. Do you hear me? Oh, si, senora, we hear you. So name your price, and let's get this over with. Uh, wh what do you think, amigo? Three hundred? Uh, no, three hundred and fifty. Uh, and one favor. One favor. Done. Wait, what? A favor? Yep. What kind of favor? Oh, just a small favor. It won't inconvenience you in the slightest, I promise. I could just demand that you do me or I fire you if you refuse, you know. Senora, that's, uh... Go ahead. Go ahead, do it. I'll just... <laughs> I'll just pack up my wiener and find work somewhere else. Now, hold on. Hold on. This isn't, uh, you know. Oh, fine. Oh, man. Ricky was getting scared. <laughs> you win, okay. $350 plus one small favor to be granted. Will you please do me now? It's all I can think about. Yep, that'll work. We got a deal. I will do it. Thank God. Oh, you had me worried there for a second, amigo. Sorry. 
No, it was very impressive. Oh, here we go. Maloney just took off with Thomas. And I guess uh, some things are happening. Some things are about to happen here. Yeah, I guess I'll get back to gardening, I guess. Oh, lucky bitch. Yeah, he likes Thomas too. <laughs> Take that silly thing off. Okay, it's about to go down. Oh, yeah, this thing, right. Yeah, okay. All right. All right, guys. Uh, Thomas took care of business in there. Mrs. Rump was not ready for it. She uh, she got worked over pretty good here. <laughs> uh, but you know what? With Thomas, Thomas got what he wanted, though. Melonia is going to get rid of the guards later tonight. So Thomas can go snooping around in the office. So let's go ahead and get out of here and come back in the evening and try to get that evidence we need to get Mr. Rump, the mayor, in trouble. Whoa. It's like the Oval Office in here. Okay, I wonder uh, if Mayor Rump has president. I wonder if Mayor Rump has presidential aspirations one day. <laughs> yeah, right. Like anyone would vote for that guy. Ridiculous. Okay. Some papers. Nope, just political documents. Well, that's kind of cute, I guess. Not really. <laughs> what about over here? Hmm. Oh, there's something uh, behind the picture frame here. Oh, we've got a safe. Bingo. Oh, oh, we got a lot of stuff in here. Something looks Russian here. Okay. Oh, look at all this cash. There must be like $5,000 here. All right, we got a Russian passport. Doesn't exactly link him to the Russians, but it's suspicious that he's had this hiding it away, right? Uh, ooh, Russian pea girl. What? Ew. Just... Okay, ew. Uh, offshore accounts. What is this? Okay, documentation for business dealings with the Russian mob. Hmm. This looks like some sort of recording device. I wonder what's on it. Right, I think we got everything we need here. He's going to listen to the recording. Got Mayor Rump here. So the shipment is... <clears throat> so the shipment was intact then? Da. With the exception of a few girls who didn't survive the boat raid. Oh, what happened there? Overdose, I think. Or bad reaction to sedative. Who can say? We toss them overboard. It's no problem. Yeah, I suppose there's plenty more where they came from, huh? <laughs> See, I told you there wouldn't be any more problems on my end. Hmm. Your accountant steals my money. This is, uh, this is a big problem for you. Ah, oh, Raz, come on. He wasn't my accountant. You know that. You hired him. Yeah, well, yes, I hired him. But he was an independent contractor that got recommended to me. It's not like I personally knew the guy. There was no way I could have foreseen him doing something stupid like that. You know, I'd be happy to have my security go out and look for him. I'm sure... Do not concern yourself. Mr. Cummings is not long for this world. Dimitri will find him. Right, yeah, okay. So Mr. Cummings uh, is obviously Thomas's dad. I'll just uh, I'll focus on getting that warehouse for you. Oh, that, this proves that they killed him. And Mayor Rump knew about it. That son of a bitch. Now, oh, surely this is enough to take them all down. I need to get this evidence to Harold right away. Thomas? What are you doing here? Oh, I have something for you. For me? This is evidence that proves that Mayor Rump is working with the Russians. What the? Where did you get this? I found it at Rump's office. Huh? How the heck did you get to the mayor's personal office? Does it really matter? Oh, of course it matters. If Rump is in bed with the Russians like we suspect, then you should be staying well clear of him. 
You're going to get yourself killed, Thomas. What? Hey, would you just look at the evidence, please? All right. What is this stuff, anyways? Well, that folder there is full of bank statements for about a dozen offshore accounts. Based on the amounts, I'd say it's a good bet. That's where he's keeping his cut of the profits. What profits? You know, his cut of whatever the Russians are peddling. Hmm. There's also a bunch of deeds for property here in Somerville, including that warehouse you were scoping out the other night. Wait a second, Rump owns that place? Mm-hmm. I told Earl that company name. I told Earl that company name sounded fake. Oh, uh, what about this? That's a recording of Rump and the Russians talking shop. On it, you'll hear the mob boss confessing to killing two women and Rump laughing about it. You're serious? Then they discuss killing my father. That's a. Uh, uh, Jesus, kid. Did you find anything else? Tell him about the money. We'll tell him. We'll be honest. I found this, too. Whoa, that's a lot of cash. Yeah. Some of his ill-gotten gains, no doubt. What's going on, boss? We're moving in on rum tonight. Are you serious? Yes, hurry up. Yes, sir. Can you get yourself home all right? Well, hold on a second. Can I come with you? No, you can't come with us. Why not? This is police business, Thomas. We can't just let civilians tag along for their personal enjoyment. Hey, if it wasn't for my evidence, you wouldn't... I'm not going to argue with you about this. What about the Russians? Are you going to arrest them too tonight? I don't know, okay? We could discuss it tomorrow. For now, you can get your butt home and let us do our job. <laughs> yeah, fine, whatever. Thank you. Well, at least they're finally doing something. I guess there's nothing for me to do but go home and wait. All right, it's morning time. Um, Harold said he'd talk to me today about the Russians, so maybe I'll hit up the police station. Do so. Let's do this. Hello, police. This is quite a caller, Harold. I don't know how your contact got his hands on the evidence, but it's a proverbial smoking gun. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, actually... There's the guy who brought it in now. Oh, this kid? That's right, sir. Hey, I'm not a kid. I'm like 18, 19 years old now, right? Huh. Whoa, uh, take it easy, killer. I didn't mean to offend. What's your name, son? Thomas. Well, Thomas, you did good work bringing that stuff in. That scumbag rump is downstairs in our lockup because of you. He's going to be going away for a long time. Well, good. Tell me, son, have you ever considered joining the force one day? Yeah, enough talking to that guy. Let's get down to business, Harold. Let's get down to business. So you guys going to be moving in on the Mafia soon? You taking down Roz? What's going on here? Move on them? Where'd you learn to talk like that, kid? Jeez, don't call me kid, okay? And, I don't know, cop shows on TV, I guess? Well, Thomas, I'm afraid we can't really give you a timeline yet. We can't really proceed with anything until the captain gets us some support. Yeah, but that shouldn't take too long, right? I have no idea. They could have guys down here in a few days, or it could take some months, you know? Months? My friends and I can't wait for you guys to resolve this. Oh, I'm sure it won't take months. But you gotta understand that as of this moment, we are short-staffed to take on an organization th this large. So what am I supposed to do, Harold? Hmm? They're threatening to kill us. Oh, that's not going to happen. You have my word. In fact, I'm assigning Officer Yumi to look after you guys until this matter is resolved. She's going to be outside your home 24-7. And for lucky... This Rasputin character will realize he's vulnerable now with rump behind bars. He might even pack up his goons and flee the country. Well, how would that be lucky? They killed my dad and you want to let him go and get away with it? Oh, of course not, Thomas. 
I want to see these animals pay for their crimes just as much as you. Uh, do you? Because you sure as hell haven't done much to prove it. Oh, come on, that's not fair. We're doing everything we can to... You wouldn't have even gotten rump if I hadn't handed him to you on a silver platter. Tony was right about you guys being worthless. Oh, where are you going? Thomas. All right, oh, man. You, me. I need you over there now. Oh, over here, I guess. Sir? I want you to get over to the Cummings residence ASAP and check on the family. Right away, sir. And pack a bag. You're going to be there a while. Is she going to live with us? Oh, man, I can't believe after all this, the Russians might get away with it. I cannot let this happen. There has to be something I could do. To be continued, guys. To be continued. At least Mayor Rump's behind bars, but we got to get these Russians now. And I think in the next update, we're going to be able to start moving in on them. I'm pretty sure Thomas is going to figure something out with Tony, maybe, to figure out how we, how we could do this without the police. So that's it. That, that's uh, the end of the main storyline. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I appreciate it. Episode 99. I can't believe we're this far. And if you've watched this long, episode 100, we're going to do a live stream where we... We, I will live stream and we will go through um, we'll, do, we'll just go through the episodes I've done so far probably not all of them because there's a hundred episodes that's a lot of hours but we'll live stream and um, you know I'll just I'll be there we'll have an open forum ask questions whatever you want it'll be fun hopefully and I'll put out a date to you guys soon on when that's going to happen. Thank you again for watching. I really appreciate it. If you like the video, make sure you smack that thumbs up button and subscribe if you haven't done so already. See you later. Bye-bye.